All right, we're back here at the Ross booth, and I'm here with Nigel Spratling. And uh, Nigel, first of all, I want to say thanks for uh, sponsoring our coverage of uh, NAB this year. Appreciate your help on that. You are very welcome, Mike. I uh, appreciate what you guys do, uh, getting the word out about how to do things properly. Yeah, well, we try. We try to do that. And uh, if you guys haven't heard uh, the podcast that Nigel's been on, you really need to go listen to that. We say that all the time, but some of the most informative podcasts and a lot of, just a lot of fun. Um, we appreciate the way you, you explain it in ways that it makes it understandable. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I try. Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of fun. So uh, we're here in front of Carbonite. Uh, Carbonite, of course, we talked about last year. It was introduced to the show. It's yep. been a huge, huge success. Yep. Um, and it's only a year old. Well, not even a year old. It's not six or eight old. months. And you're already shipping some pretty fantastic updates. So tell us about that. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when, obviously, as you say, when we introduced Carbonite, it was an instant success. Mm -hmm sold an awful lot into churches. A lot of church folks love Carbonite. Um, but uh, there were a few things that people have asked for, and so we've added them to the version that's here at the show. So there's going to be a free upgrade. All the users that have Carbonite, uh, in two or three weeks, I think, it'll be on the website. They can just download the upgrade, plug it in, and then the Carbonite gets 32 windows in their multi-viewers <laughs> before it was 20. Mm -hmm. Totally configurable. Another very cool feature is we've also added the ability to uh, put, set, uh, put audio files into the media stores. Mm -hmm. So that's great if you're playing an animated wipe with an audio effect, but you can also put just straight audio into it. Right. And get this, 16 channels of audio per media store, and with four gigs of storage available for each of those stores, that means you can get an awful lot of audio stored right in the switcher. Yeah, you could almost use that as an audio shot box kind of thing. Yeah, you definitely could. And you can program it from macros and all sure. those kinds of things. So it's really cool. Uh, the other thing that we did was um, in multi-viewers, typically in a small switch, you, can't, you often can't monitor the aux outs. And when you're in a church environment where I've got lots of destinations and maybe the crying room and other places, if I can't see what's on those auxes, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. So we've, we've freed up, we've changed the way we've, uh, we route auxes now so that the outputs are actually fully routable and then internally we can route the auxes to the multi-viewer displays. So that means now you as a TD or a director in, in, in your church can actually see what's going everywhere. Yeah, make sure that you're not sending a test pattern or something to the lobby instead of yeah. the program like you're supposed to be doing. That's pretty great. Yeah, yeah. So, so Carbonite, you know, continues to grow. We've got a lot of new stuff coming out within Carbonite and all of it will be just an upgrade. So yeah. um, we've also added uh, what we call Live Assist, which is actually a, a PC or Mac piece of software, which allows you, as a tech director, to actually take away an awful lot of the, what should we say, the kind of technical settings of the switcher, which sometimes the volunteers aren't going to be able to understand very well. And uh, you can take those off, put them on a Mac or a PC, and actually fix some of the things, even during a uh, worship service, um, so that the volunteer doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, they don't need to. They don't really need to know the technical stuff behind the curtain of how to do all the setup. They just need to select the source and yep. push next, basically. Yep, you got it. Yeah, yep. awesome. Well, so I know you guys have built a ton of power into that switch, and I know that there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it. Um, we've seen a couple of previews of things, and we're excited about what's coming down the road, and uh, look forward to really seeing more stuff come out. And uh, I know you're gonna have some cool announcements later on this year. Oh, I am, yeah, what's this space? Uh, yeah. You know, I've been working very closely with you and yeah. a lot of people in, in worship, and uh, we are definitely targeting a lot of new stuff towards the requirements of worship. Yeah. So we'll be there soon. Yeah, that's awesome. So again, uh, thanks for helping us out this time, and uh, we look forward to seeing more Carbonite. And again, if you guys have not seen the Carbonite, you really need to take a look at it. If you're looking for a switch that gives you a ton of power, in a small footprint with a reasonable price with a lot of upgrade potential, you need to look at the Carbonite. It's a great, great piece of, piece of gear. So take a look at Carbonite on the Ross website. RossVideo.com is the uh, website. You got it. Yep, take Thank a look. You.